Hello everyone, welcome back to the Raw Draw Drew's channel, and I have another exciting video for you guys. This one being the NECA Ben Cooper Vampire Girl costume figure. I just came back from my local Target and was so happy to find another one of these amazing figures there. Um, of course you can see right here in the front of the box, it is just a complete throwback to the classic sort of like Halloween style. Um, of course, you get these really cool, like, pictures of the classic masks, the Ben Cooper logo, of course, this massive window showing the figure, and then this overall retro-style packaging is just, you know, amazing. And then on this side, you do get, of course, the text of it being the monster figure, two other masks right here, and the Ben Cooper logo. You also get the number which it falls into the line, which is shown right here. So here's a close-up of all the other figures within the lineup of the Ben Cooper Halloween Kids. Um, of course, we have the Creature, the Devil, Frankenstein, the Mummy, a Skeleton, Devil Version 2, Dracula, the Phantom, the Vampire Girl, and the Witch. So that's a really awesome lineup. On this side, again, you get some other uh, pictures of the masks, the uh, title of the uh, playset, and then real cool right here, like I mentioned before, is like this um, little description of everyone that worked on this figure. From the direction, to the sculpting, to the paint and photography. That is really cool. And then lastly, on the top of the box, you get the name of the uh, character. And again, the title card of this uh, figure. But I'll get it out of the packaging and we can go from there. And in case you missed it from the previous review of the uh, vampire or Dracula, real cool, she comes in this plastic tray of course, but the background that's included is even cooler. Look at that, it's a costume shop. I love this sort of like retro style that they added, um, of course with this really neat backdrop, you can use it with all these types of figures. And here she is out of the box, and looking at her up close, she looks incredible. I love uh, this lineup with the Ben Cooper costumes. It just really brings back that sort of like classic style with these, uh, you know, Halloween costumes that the kids have. And overall is a really neat, you know, figure to collect. But of course, I'll start from top to bottom. Look at the head. <laughs> it looks really neat. Of course, you can see the kid's eyes right there. Uh, she has these blue eyes right there. Uh, and these uh, little pigtails, she has some uh, reddish hair, and then the mask itself is incredible. She has like some blood going off her lips. Uh, very interesting style with this uh, vampire girl sort of like costume. Uh, the mask has black hair, has some like black going under the eyes as well. Really cool. And then you also get like this uh, strap that's like molded to the figure to give that sort of look, which is really neat. But going over articulation, she does have a joint here at the top of the head. So here's side to side, back and forward. Looking at the torso, of course you get her costume right here. It's this, you know, dress. And then it has this very neat graphic print of this, uh, sassy vampire lady <laughs> and this bat going over her head really cool i love this style um it is made of like a soft goods uh almost like a softer leather it almost feels like um of course you do get these like green stripes running right here on these sleeves and a white uh stripe going around the collar but other than that uh she sort of has like a joint here in the uh sort of like waist area but she doesn't go side to side it's just more like to go like a little bit forward and back and then all of the kids even these other ones that we reviewed a while back have like this uh velcro on the costume to like take it off i'm not sure if you can like intermix the costumes but then again you can't take off the mask so it'd be kind of weird to intermix them look at the arms arm goes out right there goes about there and there before interfering with the outfit of course it being soft goods um you do get a double elbow right there she does have a swivel near the shoulder and you get articulation at the wrist at the hand 
the other side as well. Arm sticks out right there, goes about there and back before interfering with the um, clothing. She has a double elbow, as you can see, swivel near the shoulder. And then she does have articulation at the wrist, at the hand. Look at the legs. Um, she's not able to go into a full on split, but surprisingly, even with a dress, she is able to sit down and her legs go back right there. Um, I can feel that she has like a swivel near the um, thighs. And then as far as a uh, the knee joints go, she goes into a kneeling position. And then looking at her feet, um, she has these white tennis shoes. Um, feet do point down right there, point up, and she does have rock wrinkles. Get some cool action poses. And check out her accessory. She goes with a pumpkin bucket. Looking at the pumpkin bucket, this is like the real OG classic style pumpkin bucket. Um, of course, you can see that awesome mold right here. Um, it's a orange plastic. And then it has, of course, the black paint going throughout the eyes, nose, and mouth. And it does have this little um, black handle up on top. And it's hollow inside. To equip the Halloween bucket, it uh, slides in the hand very easily, as you can see. You just have to get that handle in there. And what's in tin, it holds on pretty well, as you can see right there. So as an overview of the figure, I love it. Having the vampire girl alongside Dracula is a must-have. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed. Usually characters with dresses, you know, it's very hard to move them around. They're a bit, um, how would you say? Um, it gets in the way, like the soft goods fabric, of course, uh, with the joints and, uh, it gets kind of frustrating to work with, but overall I was really shocked that the articulation, you know, didn't get in the way of her legs. Um, of course it does restrict her. That's the word. It does restrict her, um, with the arms, but other than that, no biggie. And then the accessory, look how cool, like this is the stuff I love and seeing, you know, that it works out with not only the figure, but the accessory, everything works really well. And, you know, that's a high recommendation for me. I luckily found her. Uh, there was at least two more at my local Target and I managed to pick her up. But, um, you know, if you ever get the chance to try and find her out in the wild, definitely get her. It's a must have. But I am going to leave you here and say if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your Halloween month. And I'll catch you all on the next one.